Hey guys, it's a bad guy here, and today we're going to be talking about the Giant Slayer. I'm going to be giving you um, the some teams that you can use starting from when you're a beginner all the way to when you're more advanced into the game. And throughout the video, I'm going to be giving you different alternatives you can use um, in case you don't have what I have or what I'm using for these runs. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. Well, uh, studying as a beginner, the first thing you're going to want to do is try and be able to auto Giants B7. This is when you can start getting the 6 star drops, though they drop rarely but it's where you start from. And I'm going to start with just a random team here. Um, these are some the core units that you're going to need for Giant B10 as a beginner, which are more obtainable are Shannon. Shannon is a 2 star, very easy to get. This is one I built when I was also climbing up. Bernard, 3 star which you can get from farming to more, very easy to get from scenarios. And Belladion, this is a, a key monster that you're going to use throughout most of Jam and you only drop her off later on when you start doing more advanced teams or speed teams. But that's not what we're talking about right now. So these three, these three monsters are key when you want to start out with Giants B10. You don't need a Veromoss just yet, but if you do get one, it will definitely be helpful. But these three should be able to get you through, through Giants B7. Now the next thing you want to do is maybe pick someone who can, uh, can remove some debuffs off your team because um, in dark dungeons they tend to use a lot of continuous damage. And also this giant has a debuff of armor break, just like the, the the Giants B10 boss so it's a good way once you have it to get to like progress into Giants B10 because they have similar debuffs so the monsters you're gonna build to be able to auto Giants B7 should be able to, you should be able to transfer them all the way into Giants B10 because they have they basically work in a similar way so as you can see four supports when you're starting Giants you usually want to do four supports and then you'll transition into first supports one attacker then you'll transition to fewer and fewer supports as you get stronger okay so as you can see four supports and since just to show you guys that just to, to not rely too much on my rune quality I'm gonna pick um, a monster that's not six stars yet so you guys can actually see that this this team would actually work even for a lower end person we're gonna pick this guy he's my chamomile I got him a few weeks back He's not too important to me right now, but eventually I'll 6 star him. His runes are plus 9. This one isn't even powered up. This one is at plus 12, and this one is maxed, I think. It's one rune that was just lying around in my storage, so I decided to put it on him. These are his stats. Now I just want to show you guys that you can definitely... With him, you can be able to still auto Jans B7. Alright, let's go ahead. Giants is like the first benchmark most players in the all players in this game have to go through before they're able to advance into higher end content. Once you're able to do Giants quite um, successfully, auto it, you should be able to transition into you should be able to do TOA once your your rune quality goes up. Then that increases the amount of resources you have in the game and just kind of pushes you further and further along. One unit you're gonna be using in many dungeons is Bella. Make sure you guys get Bella. Um, the easiest way to get Bella is unlucky. You can be unlucky and get her through a light and dark scroll, but the way most people get Bella is through secret dungeons on Sundays. Just usually, what I did was I waited and looked in chat, and when someone got it, I tried to have them add me on their friend list. Not really spam. You can just try and send them a friend request or something, and if you're lucky, they'll add you, and you can easily get Bella. Another good thing that Comtos did is, um, when I started playing, you did you couldn't really get five star runes from any easily from scenarios. You could only get them from boss stages and scenarios. But now you could easily draw from any stage in the scenarios as long as you're doing hell mode. So, while well, transitioning into giants, you should have a, an edge as compared to some of us older players. But this dungeon should this dungeon should be fairly easy, as you can see, five star unawakened, and they're doing it just fine. I'll show you guys all the runes for the monsters that I use at the end of the video. Just so you guys can look at what type of rune quality I have. But generally, the principle is the same when it comes to building the teams. One problem about the dark dungeon as well is you have to watch out for your damage dealer because 
because um, these golems reflect damage, so your damage dealer can end up dying because they do damage the golems and then they just die off the reflect, which is annoying. But yeah, as you can see, it's doing pretty fine. You don't really need to have Bernard at, at six star. You don't really need to have Shannon at six star. I just use them because that's what I have. You don't even need to have Delphoi at 6 star, just have some decent runes on her, make her as fast as possible and as tanky as possible and she should do the job. See, constantly having immunity on your team, the giant can't armor break you and that removes a lot of the difficulty from, from the dungeon. And Bella can strip the, the attack buff that the towers give, she should do the strip right now. Bernard is also really good because of that attack down, it will keep your team very safe. So as you can see, we're done. Giants V7 cleared. And once you're able to farm this and get some decent runes going on your teams, you can be able to transition into the Giants V10. I think I'm gonna do one more run for you guys. I'm gonna change it up a bit. I'm gonna put another 5 star attacker so I could. Just to give you guys another alternative and to show you that basically any attack attacker can work here. As long as you have some decent runes on, on them. We'll go back here and we'll pick this girl. Let's go ahead and try it. She's Julie, a strong water attacker that can be used in many different areas of the game. You can even use Raok here. Like that's why I'm a big fan of maybe Six during Rogue first. That's what I did because Rogue can still be used in many different places. I still use my Rogue in uh, Rauk in um, in Necro B10. Actually, I should speed this up. It's really slow. I didn't know that it was a s times two. So yeah, let's. It should move a lot faster now. You can even use, like I said, you can use Rogue in the slot if you have him well ruined. You can even use Lapis. Though I don't really, I'm not a fan of six starting Lapis first because she doesn't really have much use in the late game. I suppose you can use her in Necro, but she doesn't bring too much. She's not a very good damage dealer. So yeah, I mean, it's okay. You can six star her, but I prefer her. Krok is at least you can use him later on. And we saw Senpai YDCB use Rook in in the in the Mobile Masters Championship. So yeah. You won't regret six starring him. Okay. You can also use Rauk in the Rauk in the what's it called again? The Rift Dungeons, because he has armor break on his first skill, and armor break is really important when it comes to doing uh, when it comes to dealing damage to the boss while they're in the groggy state. So yeah, as you can see, it's going smoothly. A lot faster than, a lot faster than, a lot faster than um, the previous run because she has, I think she has some decent runes on her. At some point, I wanted to use her in, um, in the arena. Oh, and there she goes. She's dead, but it's fine. These are the three she'll be able to carry out. It's unfortunate, but it should still be fine. And finally, after this, I'll do one more run with Veramos instead of Delphoi, just to, for those guys who have Veramos. So they can see that Veramos is actually stronger at this than Delphoi. Because he can remove debuffs on every turn. Okay, one more run of GB7, and then we'll move on to GB10. I'm trying to do a more com comprehensive guide, because this is where you'll start from. You won't really start from GB10. It'll be a bit too difficult. Vermos is also strong because he can dabble as a second attacker. He puts dots on the boss. So, um, uh, even if one of your attacker dies, the dots will still be able to tick and the boss can still die. Okay. After this, we'll move on to... We'll move on to GB10. The, the, the main stage, the main scene. Okay, going well. That damage reflect can really mess you up, so just watch out for that. 
make sure your bell is fast enough to keep up and be able to heal your team. If you're early game when you're using a Lucian here, that's when you'll actually see um, that Lucian can kill himself with amputation magic on every because he if he spams it on the waves, then the golems will every golem will reflect damage back to the Lucian and he'll just die. That's one of the main reasons why I don't use Lucian in in Necro B10, even though he has a really strong dungeon attack power lead. This should be a, a pass. What's her face? Julie may die again, but that's okay. Like I said, Vermos can just carry the entire game. My Vermos is not on violent. This is to show you guys that you don't even need violent when he's on a he's on a broken set right now. Why? Because my violent runes really suck and I just concentrate on my violent runes on my on certain key units like my Chasun and my Galleon. I don't really have a spare rooms to put on my Veramos, so he's just on a on a broken set to make him tanky so I can use him when autoing TOA hard. And that's about it. I don't really use him too much right now. But he's a strong unit. So yeah, we're done here. Another successful run. 152, which is a decent time. Okay, now we'll go to Giants B10. Here we go. Giants B10. Now, the key monsters that you want for Giants B10 are these two. These two will carry you all, all the way to mid game, mid game in Giants B10. First of all, you start with them, um, one attacker and two other supports, which should be probably be Shannon and Bernard, and then one other attacker, it doesn't really matter who it is. Um, I, s I recommend you six star your attacker so they don't die. What I said was, I think it was, it was Bernard. He's good because he has an AoE and he can clear the waves, so we'll go ahead and do one run with Bernard. We'll go ahead and do one run with Bernard. Or not. Let's not do one run with Bernard just yet. Let's do it with a five star unit because a lot of guys would come in into Giants Return with, with a five star unit. Let's go ahead and do that with Julie. But I don't really recommend using five star attackers. I recommend for you to get this run to be stable, you need all of these guys or most of them to be six star. Your supports like, like, um, like Bernard and Shannon can afford to be at 5 star level if your rune quality is good enough. But it will just make the run a lot more safer if you have them at 6 stars. And you'll be able to do auto it a lot more consistently. This is usually what the fir your first um, Giants B10 runs will look like. Auto runs. 1 attacker, 4 supports. Shannon's able to put up the defense buff so even if these crystals get to move your team won't wipe. I'm um, one healer in Bella. Actually, the best healer when starting out in in Giants Return. You can use Chasun, but I prefer Bella because she can strip um, the attack buff on the boss as well as put the armor break on the boss, making the, the run a lot more safer. So you saw my team took a hit from the crystal, but they had the defense buff from Shannon, so they were able to survive. You could also use Megan here, but it would be a lot more demanding, more tougher because of the. Shannon gives a three-turn buff, where she, Megan only does a two-turn buff. So I and Megan also brings a slow to the mix, which slows the boss, preventing him from from taking turns as often. So I definitely prefer Shannon for this run, and I definitely I'd recommend that you guys um, build her. You don't have to six-star her, but if your run is not consistent, you need to. I just recommend you six-star her because I remember when I was. Um, when I was trying to make a consistent GB10 auto team that didn't fail too often, my I tried to use my Shannon while she was at five star, and I kept on failing because she's she's so squishy. She has really shit base stats, so like she die maybe before the boss to the crystals or something like that, and you go to the boss without Shannon and then you just kind of wiped there. So I recommend that you guys six star her. You won't really. Um, regret it because she can also be used in in TOA hard and also world boss so 
it's not really a loss in any way as long as you because you it's helping you progress faster because you're able to run gb10 more consistently less fails less energy wasted and so on there we go i'll also change out I'll, I'll give you guys some alternatives to some of these key units that you can change out uh, i'll show you who you can use in place of veromos I'll also show you, Julie's not really good at this dun at this dungeon, you saw that multi-hit, she does 6 hits, that means she gets counter-attacked by the boss, but hopefully she won't die here, oh she died, but it's fine, like I said, if your attacker dies, Veramos should still be able to carry through, I hope I don't fail, it would be sad if I failed, and Bernard is strong because of that um, attack down debuff, so yeah, this team is pretty stable. Decelerate, you see, it should. This team should not fail. You can see all the continuous damage. It's, it should be over in the next turn. A strong team all around, safe, and gets the job done. Next, I'll show you alternatives for Veramos for those guys out there who have yet to fuse a Veramos. I know the fusion can be quite hard to perform, so I'll, I'll try and give you guys some other alternatives. But a good thing would be maybe to look for friends with a Veramos. A Veramos um, rep. It will make it a lot easier for you guys. I think I'm gonna. Nah, I'm gonna sell this. I don't need it. Okay, we'll replay. We'll take out Veramos. We'll put in Delphoi. Does the same thing as Veramos by removing debuffs. And we'll take out Julie. Because without Veramos, I need a solid attacker. Because um, that damage needs to come through. We'll put in my Sigmaris. And Sigmaris is really strong for. Sigmaris is one of the best things that come to us is done for newer players because you can use her in both Dragons and Giants B10. She has a strong dungeon leader. This HP will come in handy for those newer players when they're trying to get their auto teams to be more successful. Delphoi is a bit more risky here because she only has a 220 immunity and um, there, there are times when the boss can catch you all when you don't have that immunity and maybe you've got the defense break on you and that can lead to a wipe but if you don't have a Verumos then she's a really good choice any cleanser can work, Konamir can work actually I prefer Konamir to Delphoi because he, he has more of a smarter cleanse but I've never actually built a Konamir so I, really, I can't show you guys a run with him but he should work just fine and you can use him in giant in Dragons B10 as well, so definitely a good unit. You can also use him in real time arena. A solid unit all around. This is something along the lines of what my first Dragons Giants B10 team was. But instead of Delphoi there, I had fused my Vermos. I was lucky enough to get some some units from scrolls that were part of the Vermos fusion, like Arang. And that made fusing Veramos a lot easier for me. He was my third um, six star, I think. And he's brought me a long way. So as you can see, Sigmaris is doing pretty fine. The only place where he could cause a fail is at the boss. Because if he the boss counterattacks on him, he'll probably die. He's extremely squishy, he has very low HP stats. Other than that, he's a solid um, unit all around. You can also use him early on in your guild wars and your arena. He'll definitely be helpful to you guys. I also see Jubek will use him in in uh, Shield Will Cleave Comp for the arena, so a lot of uses can come out of him. As you can see, it's solid. Everyone's Everyone is topped off. No chance of failure just yet. Okay, there we go. Now that's what you want. That's what you want to happen at the start of this boss stage. Uh, attack down debuff. Slow debuff is placed. Now even if he counterattacks, he won't even kill my Sigmaris. And we had immunity there, so we didn't get any defense break on us. Attack buff removed. So you can see the the why this team works in itself solid team all around it will definitely get you those rooms you need to progress later and later on into the game 
there we go. And you can see Sigmar's third skill does damage based on HP, so it speeds up the run by quite a bit. And there you go, you can start getting your runes. Start getting your runes going, okay. Next I'm gonna show you some another alternative. If you have a Velajul maybe, basically just this is show you that any immunity buffer can work. If you have a Wusa, if you have, I don't actually own this unit so I'm gonna have to borrow one from my friends list. So let's just pick any of them. Let's pick the worst one so I can show you. This is try. okay that's not very good. Um, this is pretty decent so we'll go with this. Velajul, Elemental Disadvantage. But the Tyrant should still work as long as the if the Velajul is max skilled, it should definitely work very easily. If not, it could be a little bit more danger. But that's not how you want to build your Velajul. You want your Velajul to be very fast. This Velajul is horrible. No offense to 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 Baby, I think that was his name. Everything going good as you can see. I like the way Comtos has handled the newer players. It's given you guys a lot of ways to catch up to the later end players. You know, actually when I started playing this game, it was not that far back. I think I've been playing for a year and a half now. I remember when I started playing, the top players were the, the player that everyone looked up to was Varian. He was so strong. He was always number one in the world in in the arena, and you just go look at the at the arena list just to see, like, look at his monsters, and you're like, wow, how the hell am I gonna catch up to this guy? Like, and right now I'm pretty far up. Like, I can at least reach guardian, and I've held guardian before, so it should be a lot easier for you guys to put in the time and effort, and just kind of grind it out every day. You know, do your runs, do your dungeon runs. Ruin your monsters properly, you know. Look up guides on the, on on the internet for like how to do certain things, like like this Giants B10, and you should be able to to climb up pretty fast and be able to compete in the uh, in the higher and higher ranks in arena. I haven't I've barely spent that any money on this game. I'm still a student, so I don't have that much money to to be spending on, on games. I would if I could, but. You know, I have to eat, right? So yeah, even if you have money to spend, you can climb even faster than me. You can catch up and, pa and surpass me from <laughs> quite easily, as long as you put in the time. It's a fun game all around. I like it. You can see the immunity buff from Velajul there. I wish I had Velajul, it was a really strong unit. He cleanses and applies 3 turn immunity. Really strong. If you have this unit, guys, if you're lucky enough to pull him, then you can use him. If you if you pull him early, you can use him in your chance be turn runs. Here, I'm just basically show you, I'm showing you that anyone who removes debuffs can work really, as long as you ruin them well enough. There you go. Done. I'll do one more example for the someone who can replace Veramos. I'm pretty sure a lot, maybe one of you pulled this unit and or you have her and you wanna build, you've built her but she's mainly, you think she's mainly useful in raids. Lisa, a strong unit, she cleanses um, on a three turn cooldown I think and she used mainly in raids so we'll go ahead and try and use Lisa. She should be able to do the job just as well as as any of those other clans that I've just shown you um, and you can also use her in she'll still be useful to you you can use her in, Necro in Necropolis you can use her in uh, raids while while doing raid 4 and 5 I don't recommend you do raid 3 just focus on your on improving your runes until you're able to to do raid 4 raid 3 is just a bit too expensive and time, time consuming to waste your time on when you can just farm giants or dragons And you can see the, the, the key units, Bella, Shannon, Bernard, haven't changed. Next I'll show you a run with Shasun, just to show you that 
maybe if you have Chisun instead of, of Bella. Or I don't really recommend Colleen, but we can also try using Colleen here. I'll put her in for you guys. But it will be a lot more dangerous. You can see, um, my the way you want to ruin Lisa is violent, just like um, Bella. But you can start off with Swifts because that's what you're going to be getting off this dungeon. Make them as fast as possible and as tanky as possible. Um, for Shannon, it's Despair is, be is the best set you can use on for her because that way you can use her as well in TOA as well because she can stun off her third skill and her first skill. Resistance. My Bella isn't trained with a lot of accuracy at the moment, so I can understand why she misses that a lot. Good thing about Bella, you can also you can use her in so many places. You can also use her in raid. I use my Bella in raid sometimes because she's able to she's able to, to to constantly have armor break on the raid boss. So basically any attacker will do in place of Sigmaris, it doesn't have to be Sigmaris, it can be Kaito, it can be um, Orochi, I have an Orochi built up, I use him in my speed GB10 runs, solid unit all around. Okay, these are more of the teams that you'd want to use when you're a beginner. Let's see what happens, will she cleanse it? It doesn't even matter if she doesn't cleanse it. Look, we have defense buff on, so as long as you have that, the boss probably will not be able to wipe your team. Now, this could get dangerous, but you can see she cleansed it. So, And she speeds up the run because she's more of an aggressive cleanser. She lowers the cooldown of your team, and she gets three people to attack at random. Well, that's done. That's enough of the cleanser. Now I'm gonna put back Veromos. And then I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you some runs with the, a different healer. Where is my Veromos? Here we go. My Veromos. And then a lot of guys, maybe you got Kaito and you're like, is he good or not? Let's go ahead and do a run with him. He's able to to do quite well in this and then I'll do one more with Orochi this is just show you the different damage dealers you have you can put in as long as they're wind I and they and they, they can do quite well one I don't really recommend is Julian which is the wind phantom thief he is horrible in this dungeon honestly he's not a very good monster I got him on early on and I six start him even at 6 stars, he dies so easily. Even with elemental advantage, he dies easily. So, uh, Kaito at least can buff, can get a shield buff on him when uh, he procs out of the Scream Skywolf, which will keep him a bit more safe in the dungeon. And he does a lot more damage. And he has possibly, he can possibly get an AoE, which speeds up the run. After this finishes, we'll do one run just to show you guys which students out there that you can use someone else. And that maybe if you don't, if you're unable to get Bella, just show you some options you can use instead of Bella. Even though Bella, I really recommend you get Bella, she's too key a unit to not have. I don't recommend you build anyone else other than Bella, because she will need her when you get to Dragons B10 anyway, so I don't really... You guys should actually put in that the effort on Sunday to get her. I'm sure someone will add you. Like someone added me, right? And I got my Bella. So I'm pretty sure people in the community will add you when you ask them to. So yeah. 
you can see Kaito is working pretty well. And he'll do a lot better than many other attackers. He has elemental advantage because he's wind and generally he's easy to ruin. You see he has a shield on now so that keeps him a lot safer and he can do the AoE now to make the run move a lot faster. See? Strong, you can definitely use him in, in Giants as an attacker. You can see how key, how clutch Megan's shield, um, how clutch her defense buff there was. If we didn't have it on when the boss hit us, we would have wiped. You see the amount of damage that Kaito can do? So if you have this unit guys, definitely build him. And I also use my Kaito in Arena. He's really strong, he can do over 50k on one target. So like for example if there's a tank retesh there with two other units on, I can just come with, uh, go with a Galleon and uh, an attack bar buffer, I take turn 1 and then I instantly remove one unit from play. So in lower end Guild Wars of War, he'll also work. Okay, there we go, we're gonna switch this up, we're gonna put back Sig, I've just, I've shown off, basically most well ruined attackers can work in that slot, it doesn't really matter where it is. So we're gonna put back Sig. And then we're gonna show you um, Chasun. Chasun. If you have a Chasun, and maybe you're thinking of using Chasun in in this dungeon, in this dungeon, then definitely use it. If you also have a Theomars, you can use them. I'll do one run with Theomars. I actually prefer Theomars here if you're gonna use a Chasun, because Theomars gives that um, he gives this skill, which can armor break the boss because you've removed Bella, so you've lost. An, an, an essential armor break. So Theomars will be able to provide that. I think Chasun does make the run a lot safer though. She can heal up from basically zero. And Theomars works well with Chasun because even if the boss hits your your team and wipes everyone else out and cause um, Theomars won't die because he of the endure buff and Shasun probably won't die because most Shasuns are ruined with high resistance anyway maybe she won't get armor broken and she's wind so the boss may glance on her so she can bring Theomars all the way back up to full and the two of them can solo the boss all on their own mm, you can see it's working out really well I recommend but when you when you start playing you should find a guild. Even if it's a low level farming guild, you can still farm those guild points to help you get this Ifrit. This he's very helpful. Very, very helpful. That's one thing I really didn't do when I was low level. That's one thing I didn't do when I was low level. I didn't. I joined the guild way too late, so I started getting my freed pieces a bit later on than everyone else. If I did, I could have got my first freed a lot earlier, and that could have helped me in progression. But that's okay. So guys, don't make the same mistake I did. If you're lucky enough to get the Omars on your first, as your first freed, make sure you build him. He'll help you. He can use a damage dealer in both. In all three dungeons, honestly, he can even be used in Necro. And he's strong in Arena, he's strong in Guild Wars, I mean, you can use Theomars in so many different places. I even use him in the Hall of Heroes, because he's, he's difficult to kill. I use a team um, consisting of Brienne, Chisun, Verumos, and I think... I think it's Bernard as well. They're all tanky, and Theomars is a strong attacker that won't die very easily. Briand can bring him back up. So it's a solid HOH team. Maybe um, for the next HOH I'll showcase my team for you guys so you can see. You can try and maybe copy it for your own autoing purposes. So you can see Theomars landed the armor break. Bernard also has an armor break, but 
it's not very good to rely on just one armor break. And Theomars can also put dots, like it's a solid team all around. If you have this team, it's better than the first team to be honest. But I still prefer Bella because you can use Bella in in dragons, just soon not so much. You can, but she's not the best option. She's not the best option. Okay, there you go. I run with someone else. I run with Chisun. Maybe you don't have Chisun at all. You don't have Bella. You are too lazy to to listen to this bad guy's advice here, and you went and built a Colleen first because you heard she's good. She's a good unit, but she's not the best to be using in in Giants B10. But she can still work. I'm sure this will work though. But their room quality needed is so much higher. I don't recommend this at all. Please guys don't do this. You'll fail your runs early on. Like the rune quality I have on my on what's it called again? On my Theomars and my and my Colleen. And a lot of the other guys here is not really something you can match. So this team will not do very well for you. You see she wastes a heal. It's not a smart heal, so you can be low and she doesn't have the heal because she already wasted it. She uses it basically as a buff. So like she can cause fail failed runs very easily. But if you don't have anything else to use, I suppose you can take her. She has um, attack down debuff on her first skill, so she can weaken the boss. Also, sh she's she's not gonna fall off, so you won't regret building her because she's also using raids. But once you get to the boss, you'll probably have to to manual manual the boss just to make sure you don't fail. At least it's for early game players. Let's try and end this run fast. The way you want to rune her for Giants B10, um, ideally Swift, but Swift um, focus. No, there's no focus runes in Giants B10. Swift Energy is probably the best early game build you can use for her. Later on, you'd want to switch it up to maybe Violent Revenge or Full Revenge. That's just for raids. Because you'll definitely, once you get later on to the game, you'll be using her in Giants B10. That's for sure. So as you can see, the run's still going pretty well. Theomar is doing work. Doing a lot of work. This run is slower than um, a run, the run would be with Sig, but that armor break is a lot more important than clearing these trash waves because at the end of the day you want to clear the dungeon you don't want to spend energy only for it to be wasted with a failed run and um, when it comes to reviving your team which is an option I only recommend you do that if you want to clear this dungeon just to get the light and dark scroll from for as a reward um, when you're trying to farm it regularly just for runes you don't if you fail don't don't revive your team that's a waste of crystals just take the loss and try again. Builds for Theomars for this dungeon as well. Uh, not Theomars, but Verumos. Um, you'd want to rune him Swift as well, Swift Focus, or Swift Energy, Swift anything basically. Swift Broken is also fine, tanky as possible. Bernard Swift as well. Um, and Theomar is probably swift too because you you won't have any balance runes just yet because you, you're focusing on getting this run sorted. Okay, now that we're done with that, we've gone over the different attackers you can use. We've gone over replacements for Belladion. We've gone over replacements for Theomars. So you guys should have a basic idea of what you can do to replace these core units if you don't have them, or if you're still working on fusing or getting them from secret dungeons, right? So you'll still be able to work on Giants recent even without them. So now that we're done with that, that's basically um, the beginner guide. Next we're going to be moving on to replacements. As in not really replacements, but how you want to progress past this early game sort of farming team and start moving towards a speed team. Now the first thing you can do 
the first thing I recommend you do is move from one attacker to two attackers. So you'd want to remove Bernard and replace him with another attacker. Um, what I did was the not the Omars, but um, Sigmaris. Sigmaris still pro provides the attack down, so he's pretty safe. And we can use his attack leader skill there. I mean, his dungeon leader skill, which is better than Theomar uh, than Veromoss's. So go let's go ahead and see how this works out. It should work out just fine. So this is how you'd want to slowly start working, imp improving your runs, making it faster. You just add one more attacker and remove a support. Now it's three supports, one attacker. Okay, here we go. And Sig makes the run a lot faster just because of having that AoE. Next I'll show you with... with we're going to take out the Omars. And we're gonna put in we're gonna put in Lucian. For those guys who have Lucian. But if you don't have a Lucian, I recommend Sig. Sig is better. Not really better, but he's he's better than most other attackers. Just due to that leader skill. And this is a lot safer than putting in um than putting in Lucian. So if you put in Lucian and it fails, just go back to this. Because Lucian does bring more damage and faster clear to the field, but um, he doesn't, unlike Sig or Theomars who can go down to Endure, he can still die a lot faster and Sig provides um, a, a HP leader skill which, um, which is better for staying alive. So if you if you run with, runs with Lucian of Ailing, just far, um, go back to this, farm your runes a lot more, improve your rune quality a bit more and then try it again. So yeah, if Bella can get us an armor break here, it would move a lot faster. You want to ruin your Bella with some accuracy, I recommend, I think it's 45% for giants. So if you can get 45% accuracy on your Bella, that's great. Mine, uh, I think I'm running her with like 30% or something like that. Which is not the best, but my rune quality is good enough for it to work. But when you're early on, you really need to to be able to land seizes and armor breaks, so it, that accuracy really matters. Okay, it won't be the fastest run, but it will definitely be faster than what you've been than the previous ones we've been doing. And like I s told you guys before, six third skill does a lot of damage to bosses. And it puts the attack down, which is great. There we go. Attack down debuff, and he can val. My sig is on balance, so he can balance and do a lot of damage. And that's done. Next, we'll do one with Lucian, just to show you guys. We'll not use. We'll use Sig and Lucian. That should be a faster run. My bad. Did I pass Lucian? Which Lucian is this? It's fatal focus. Fatal blade, I think. Okay. Where's my damn Lucian? Is he in storage? Yes, he's in storage. This is my best solution. Um, does the most damage, can clear a wave with one hit. But I realized that a lot of early game Lucians won't be able to do that. So you guys just gonna have to, you're just gonna have to, I guess, use what you've got. Use the Lucian, the, your Lucian the way he is. As long as you can almost clear away with one hit of amputation magic, then you should still be fine. You should still be fine. Okay.
Here we go. You see the combination of Lucian and and Sig does quite well. And Sig does a lot of good single target damage to the boss, so you should clear that boss stage a lot faster. A downside to Lucian is if he uses amputation magic at the boss stage, he'll die very fast because the boss will counter attack him. Let's target the middle boss just to make the run go faster. I wish they had, um, if they put, put a way we could target the middle boss in the, like, in the, where you can target the boss, boss battle, it will be a lot, it will make runs a lot faster and safer, especially that would be really useful in dragons for newer players, because that Zyro stage is something else. I think I'll make, um, a DB10, uh, a DB10. Guide basically just to show you guys how to move from advanced from beginner to advanced in, in, G, in DB10 as well. But I'm not that far off, to, uh, I'm not that advanced in DB10. I, I have like one minute something runs. I just I got my I built my truck the other day. And to auto DB10 or to make a speed, speed DB10 is a lot harder than to make a, uh, a giant speed team. Just because of the way the giant works and that immunity buff, and it's a lot harder. But I'm pretty fine with where I am. Okay. 1 minute 48, that's a fast run. At least one early game player. There we go. So you, I've shown you how you want to move from... From um, just one attacker to two attackers. Then the next thing I'd recommend is maybe... If you don't have a Galleon yet and you don't want to move, um, you don't, as in you don't want to, you want to try and speed up your run even more but you don't have a Galleon or something like that, I recommend something like this. S three attackers, two supports, right? It should still work. Let's go ahead and try that out. It, it will be a lot, how do I put it, it will be a lot more risky but if you've ruined them well enough, they should still do the job. And I pick Orochi there because Orochi is a really solid attacker for DB10 to be honest. I don't see him in many speed DB10 teams but he works wonders. Why? Because um, one of the main reasons why the boss kills people in speed teams is because the boss gets a chance to move. Um, and Galen isn't the only one who can slow the attack buff, uh, who, can, who can reduce the attack buff, I mean the attack bar of the boss. So Orochi can reduce the attack bar with the second skill as well, so it makes the run a lot safer. Um, I watched a video by Shred Puzzle about Bark and how Bark can reduce the attack bar of the boss and make the run safer. And Orochi is basically the same thing, but he's also good because once he uses his third skill, he puts six dots on the boss. And those six dots are basically 30%, I think. If one dot is 5%, is six of them is 30% of the boss's... Um, of the boss's HP in one turn, and he also puts dots on his first turn, so he can definitely make the turn the the the, the, the run fast. You see, he already starts to put dots, and in conjunction with Veramos, it should still be a safe run. So as we can see, the run's going pretty well so far. There was no armor break, so we managed to survive that hit. There we go. Safe run. Safe enough, I guess. And you get your 1 minute 21 run. Now is when we move to this. We start moving towards the advanced stuff. I've shown you guys how to go from beginner, from GB7 to GB10 to GB10 um, with two attackers, then three attackers. Speeding up your runs by seconds. From moving from over two minute runs to one minute and some seconds runs now we're gonna go to making um making a speed team a full-on speed team now in a speed team before you start considering making one 
if you have a galleon it will make things a lot easier and that's what i use i'm sure there's speed teams without galleon but i think it's a lot better if you guys use galleon the best way to run galleon for speed runs is violent violent anything give him high enough accuracy and it should work pretty well now i'm going to show you guys examples of my first speed runs um, what I used, I usually used for this was my my first speed run, I think. That was before I had um, Theo Mars. This was what I used to use, and it worked relatively well. But um, it's a lot less safe compared to the current team that I use. It used to fail a lot because sometimes the boss would move or something and the die but other than that it should be safe enough it should be really safe to be honest because you have two guys that reduce the the boss's attack bar keeping him locked down preventing him from getting a turn so here we go this these team this team should take you around um a minute 10 seconds or less it really averages around 50 something seconds provided RNG goes my way it can even go to 40 seconds if if RNG does go your way if you target maybe the middle boss first and Galleon lands armor break on the on the giant it's a pretty okay run Okay, so there we go. He lands. You see, this is the ideal. This is what you want to happen in speedruns. You want Galleon to use time to loot at the beginning of the fight. And the run will be smooth. So as you can see, easy. When you're making um, a speedrun, I recommend you use someone who, uses, who has attack bar decrease. That will make your teams a lot faster. So you see 1 minute 10. The best I've ever done is 40 seconds. This is a different team though. I'll show it to you guys. Let's replay again. Make show you some different alternatives you can use. I know a lot of guys use Hua. Hua is also a really good alternative for this. You take out um, Orochi there. And then we're gonna use Hua. Hua decreases the attack bar in every turn, so it should make the run a lot more safer. Where is my Hua? Here she is. Let's go ahead. But she has an elemental disadvantage, so she can die pretty easily. If maybe the boss counter attacks her, and she has armor break on her. So try and run her a bit more tanky. You probably are already, because for her to work in rage, she has to be tanky. Okay, let's go. It's gonna make the run a lot more slower. So I prefer Roshi in that slot. Plus, if um, the Lucian attack power leader is not working well for you guys because you don't have maybe your rune quality isn't good enough, so you're dying along the way, you can use the um, Roshi's 30% speed leader for wind. So it should make your runs a lot safer and smoother. That's what I, I was using before. I'd use the Orochi leader skill instead of the attack bar leader skill for the Lucian. As you can see it's working pretty well. Hua is preventing the boss from moving. You can see um, the boss can one shot your Hua, which is a problem. And that Thunder Wheel deals a lot of damage. Oh no lag. Okay. So as you can see Hua will still work because of that attack by decrease that she provides. Nothing good. Okay, I've shown you that Hua can work. Next, I think I'll show you one more attacker. Um Let's see. Let's see who I can show you guys. Um, actually, let me just show you guys my 
my current speed team. It's really safe. I don't use Kaito anymore. I started using Theomars instead because the team with Kaito sometimes failed. So I use um, Theomars in that slot and then I use Orochi in the last slot. So as you can, we'll have two guys who can reduce the boss's attack bar. It's not the fastest run but it's definitely really safe. It rarely fails. It does fail once in a while so it's like a 98-99% win rate. But it does fail sometimes. But not very often. Not enough that you'll notice. It's the current team I'm using. Um, maybe if I get a Tashar or if I get a Lagmaron or a Teor, I'll replace. I'll replace them. Theomars makes this really safe. Why? Because he does a lot of good single target damage. And on top of that, even if the boss does get a move and maybe wipes everyone else on the team, Theomars alone will remain and him alone can solo the boss when it's like at a, a bit less than a third of the HP. He's able to take down the boss on his own. So yeah, this is what my current team is. Um, I'm currently, a, 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 I'm, how can I put it? I'm currently, I'm consistently, I can be consistently Conqueror 3. Um, I've also finished Guardian, I think once or twice before. So I'm pretty far up in the game, I guess. I've finished TOA and TOA hard. I can do Raid 5 quite consistent, very, actually very consistently. Same with Rift Beats, I can get Rift Beats, I can get, I can get double S's and S's, so I pretty much know what I'm talking about at this point. I've spent a long time playing this game. There we go. Not the fastest run, but safe enough. Alright guys, now that we're done with all those runs, I'm gonna quickly go over the runes that I used that are on the m different monsters that I used um, during the different runs that I did so you guys can have a clue of how to rune your monsters and what type of rune quality you'll need to do the various different runs that I highlighted. Alright, let's get let me let's get to it, let me show you. Um, this is my Sigmaris. These are his stats. Um, violent focus, attack, crit damage, attack. Um, the next monster, Galleon, I used him in the speedrun, um, Violent Will, I only ruined him well because I use him in uh, in PvP as well, so it's better to have that will offset. So yeah, uh, speed, attack, I put this here just because of the accuracy, and HP, these are his overall stats. Okay, the next one was Theomars. This is my Theomars. Um, these are his stats. This is his rune set. Um, Violent Endure. Speed. Crit damage. Attack. Okay. Next um, is Lisa. I use Lisa mainly in Raid 5. Um, these are her runes. These are her stats. And these are her runes. Speed. HP. HP. Okay. That was Lisa. Next I'll show you guys um, Colleen. I remember using her in one of the runs. Uh, these are her stats. I use her mainly in Raid 5 as you can tell by the HP and the defense. Um, Valent, uh, not Valent, Revenge, uh, Revenge Nemesis, um, these are her runes, Speed, HP, Defense, okay, next, um, this, this is my Hua, I remember using her in one run, I mainly use her in 35, uh, these are her stats, you can tell by how much HP she has, and her runes are Swift, Swift Endure, Speed, I mean HP not Speed, HP, Crit Rate, Attack, 
works well enough in Raid 5. Next is my Shannon. My Shannon, I barely use her, so these are her runes. These are her stats. But she'll work very well in, in Giants B10 on auto, so you can tell these are the stats you should kind of shoot to aim for. She didn't have to be that god here, she just has to be good enough. Um, speed, HP, HP. Good enough. You can tell none of her runes are max. I don't use her that much. This is my Delphoi. I also used her a bit. I also use her in raid in my second team sometimes. Um, because she's a good cleanser. Um, these are her runes. Speed. HP. HP. It's not even maxed. Um, this is my Bernard. I don't really use him as an attack bar buffer because I have a different attack bar buffer who has my fastest swift set. I mainly use him in in TOA in boss stages so he can land that armor break. That's why he has a lot of accuracy as you can see. And just to put that speed um, the speed buff on my on my team. So these are his runes. Swift energy. Speed. HP. HP. I mean defense. You can tell he has good defense, good um, good HP. He can also even be used in raid 5 if you really don't have anything better. This is my Orochi. This is his rune. This is his stats. He's rune swift. Swift blade. Um, speed. Crit rate. Attack. Next is my Kaito. He's rune swift as well. Attack, crit damage, attack. These are his stats. Um, next, my Shasun. She has a decent balance set on her, not the best one. But I use her in raid 5 mostly. Decent defense, decent HP, decent speed. So that's what she'll work with Theomars. As you can see, my Theomars was plus 92 speed, and she's plus 93 speed. So I can use them in Guild Wars together. In, in my Theo. Tessarion Chisun combo. These are her runes. Speed. HP. Okay, those are her runes. These are her stats. And then my Lucian. This is my first Lucian. Actually, no, this is not my first Lucian. One sec, guys. Let me pull that guy out of storage for you guys so you can see. The Lucian that I used. Okay, let's get back to it. My Lucian over here. My first Lucian is on Swift. Attack. Crit damage. And attack. There we go. All his runes and these are his stats. He works very well in Arena as well as in Giants. Next is my other Lucian which I did use in I think my speedrun. I used double Lucians. These are his stats and these are his runes. Fatal Blade, Speed, Crit Damage, and Attack. Next, we're gonna look up Bella. Bella didn't have the best runes on her, but I kinda use her in raids sometimes. So here we go, these are her runes. Speed, HP, Defense. Works well enough. I don't use her all that much, but sometimes I do use her. Next is my Vermos. I told you she didn't even have a violence set. So guys, you can do well enough without a violence set. Not even a swift set. It's just all broken all around. I didn't really have good runes for him at the time. Um, these are his stats. Good enough. Good defense. Good, good enough HP, I guess. I don't use him all that much. So Nemesis, broken, is the only complete set here. Um, speed. HP defense I think that was it actually there were the five stars that I use there's my Julie here not the best runes on her but she does well enough rage this is my only completed rage set um, these are her runes leftover runes basically and then we have, I didn't use her, um, Maya Kamamir. These are his stats. 
And these are his runes. Actually, I think I showed these before, but let me just show them once more. Not even a complete set, not awakened, nothing. So you can definitely do a lot better than me. So yeah, guys, th those have been my runs on and my take on Giants B10, as well as the runes of the monsters I used. Uh, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you have anything you want to tell me or ask me about the runs and any any teams you may have that you that you, you're not really sure about, you can ask me, and I can def I'll definitely reply to you guys in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.